Welcome in another video on my YouTube channel. This time we're going to create a simple TCP network scanner using SCAPI. SCAPI is a network manipulation tool that allows us to forge and decode packets, send them on the wire, capture them, and much more. We can use the tool interactively, but what's more important for this video is that we can pip install SCAPI and use it as a module in our Python scripts. So without further ado, let's get down to this. I'm here in my IDE and I have SCAPI already installed, but we can actually verify this. So I'm going to pull up my terminal here and I'm going to use pip free list and I'm going to grab for SCAPI here. And as you can see, I have SCAPI 2.4.4 version installed, the newest as of this time. Okay, so let's minimize this. And the very first thing that we're going to do here is importing SCAPI into our namespace. So I'm going to say from scapy.all import and we're going to use the star symbol. So effectively we're going to import every object into our namespace. Normally we shouldn't do imports with star symbols because the objects that we import might collide with already defined objects. But since we don't have any objects in our module script, it's not a problem. Okay, so uh, down here I'm going to define our function and I'm going to call it TCP scan and it's going to take two parameters. The very first parameter is going to be destination IP and the second parameter is going to be destination port. So we are defining our target here. We're going to be passing the destination target, the target to which we want to send um, certain packets and we're specifying destination port. So Okay, so uh, actually we can add some dog string to explain what the function does. So uh, check, basically we want to check with this TCP scan, we want to check whether the host is alive and whether the destination port is open. And we will be achieving this using TCP scan. And what it does, we will be sending TCP packets uh, with a synflex and if we receive any answer it will indicate that the host is alive but we're gonna ch check for certain flag as well in the responses that we receive so if we get a certain flag and this flag is a say for syn acknowledge uh, it will it would indicate that the destination port is open that's but okay, let's let's continue. So we're gonna fill in our doc string here. So check if the destination host is alive and if destination port is open by using or by sending send packets. Good. Okay, so uh, we can fill in the type here. So this is going to be a string and destination port is going to be integer. Okay, so let's remove this. I'm not gonna fill the description for now. We're gonna continue with defining our packet. Okay, so when we work with Scapy, we need to define a packet. So this is the thing that we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna call this variable pkt and add we can create different packets in Scapy. In our case, we're gonna use two classes, IP class and TCP class to create our packet. So um, I'm gonna use this IP class as I said, and this class has this parameter called DST and we're gonna assign this to our destination IP. So whenever we pass later on a destination target, a destination IP of our target, it will be in turn passed to this class and our packet will have this destination IP in one of its fields. And if we want to stack layers in Scapy, we can use the division operator. So uh, here I'm gonna add this TCP layer as well and it takes this D port parameter argument and we're going to set this to deport. So this has the same name as uh, the parameter of our function. Okay, so we have our, actually we have our packet 
defined. I'm going to pull up terminal and I want to show you what it looks like in Scapy. Uh, so I'm going to open up Scapy in my terminal and we're going to create this packet interactively. So I'm going to say pkt and we're going to use IP and we can assign this destination. Let's say that we want to target my router in my local network. So I'm going to say 192.168.0.1 and we're going to stack TCP layer as well. And let's say that we want to check SSH port. Okay, so as you can see, when we run this PKT, when we um, show this packet, we have different fields here, but we can use show method on our object and it will give us all fields and all layers defined in our packet. You might be wondering why we don't have Ether, Ethernet layer in our packet, but the function that we're going to use to send this packet will handle, for, will handle this for us automatically. So most of the fields are filled in automatically, as you can see. And the difference for the, the field that we're going to set is called DST. And this is what we're going to be setting and this destination port here. And by the way, if you want to access specific layer in Scapy, you can use this bracket notation. So let's say we want to access TCP layer. We can do, do this like this. We can execute show method on this object as well. We will get all the fields. If you want to check specific fields, you can use that notation and type in a specific field. Like let's say we want to see what the flag is for this packet, we can pass this in turn to str function and it will give us human readable format. Okay, so we can see that our object, our packet that we're, we're going to be sending has flags set, has syn flags basically. Okay, so let's minimize this and we're gonna send this packet now in our, uh, in our script. So we're gonna to this here. Okay, so uh, to send a packet, as I said, um, we have different ways for sending packets in Scapy. But we're going to use SR function that will handle um, Ethernet layer for us automatically. So this function returns two objects, uh, a couple of objects. And uh, the first object is answered packets and the second unanswered packets. So I'm going to assign these two variables to the return value of our function and we need to provide or pass our packet to this function and I'm going to set timeout as well so that we don't have to wait forever for the responses. So let's actually pull up the terminal again and see what it looks like in Scapy. So we have our packet as you can see, we have destination port, we have destination IP address and let's pass this to SR function and we're, go we're gonna set timeout as well. And I'm gonna assign this to these two variables. So effectively we sent, sent out the packet to the destination target and we, I suppose we got some responses. Remaining one packet, announce. Unanswered, so the, the a request or the packet was an answer and I can see now that the destination IP is wrong so we can actually we can learn how we can adjust certain fields so let's let's see if we want to change the destination IP of this packet we can access specific layer so we are interested in IP layer as you could see here so I'm gonna say IP and destination, what was the name? DST, simple, there we go. And we're gonna assign this to this IP address. So I mixed up the second octet. Okay, and now let's, let's show this packet. There we go, now it's correct. So we should receive some answer actually. 
there we go we got the answer back so that's how it works we'll be doing the same but inside python script okay so um, our function here is almost ready now we want to do some checks so basically as i said at the beginning we're going to be checking if the host is alive so if we receive any answer from the target host it would indicate that that host is alive so we can do this check if not ans so first let's see if the host is not alive so if we got no answer then we can firmly say that the host is offline so host we can use a string here and i'm gonna say host dsd ip oh i cannot really type is offline exclamation mark there we go in other case oh i should close the string here in other case uh, we will know that the host is online but what we want to check as well is whether the destination port is open so um, let me show you this ans object uh, one more time so if we check type of this object we will see that this is a list effectively send receive list so it contains sent packets and received packets so we need some way to look through this object so i'm going to say for sent receive in answer because remember this is a list so we we want to access now we want to check received packets and we will be checking for this sa flags and if we want to evaluate whether the flags field in the TCP layer in the received packet is equal to SA. So we can do something like, like this. If RSV and we want to access TCP layer and we want to evaluate this to SA. So if we receive a packet with this flag, it means that the port, the destination port is open. So we can say here, uh, holy crap, we can say print and let's use f string again and we're going to say d port and I'm going to add port, d port on host destination IP is open. And in other case, it means that the host itself is alive but the port is closed so we can say uh, let's copy this port on host is closed but the host itself is alive okay so i think we've got everything we need uh, now let's simply run this function in inside our script so i'm gonna pass as well the ip address of my router here so let's set this to this ip and first we're gonna check as well ssh port and i know that it's closed so we should get this closed answer so let's see i'm gonna use sudo here python free tcp scan And let's see if that works. Okay, so let me actually let me run this again because it's not visible. So as you can see here, we got our print statement here. Port on host is closed, but the host itself is alive. So it this function is working as intended, but we get these uh, various uh, print statements here. We don't need that, and we can turn this off. In SR function here when we set verbose to zero and now we're going to check port 80 so this HTTP port is open usually on router so let's see what it looks like 
there we go. So you can see that port 80 on a host on my router is open and that's what it looks like in reality as well. So um, that would be it for this video. I hope you've liked this. If you did, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. In the next videos, we will do much more with KP. We will play around with ICMP packets and other types of packets. So stay tuned. Have a nice, thanks for your time and have a nice day. Take care.